ability and capacity to produce uh, on indigenous equipment, including vehicles. The Nigerian Army Vehicle Manufacturing Company was established on the 16th of November 2018. The establishment came three weeks after the Nigerian Army High Command had promised to set up a company that will produce, repair and carry out routine maintenance of its vehicles in order to enhance its operations. The idea was conceived following the successful production of five units of an indigenous Class B patrol vehicle by Depot Nigerian Army under the Military Skill Acquisition Training, MSAT, a feat achieved by the 77 regular recruits intake. To lay a solid foundation for the Nigerian Army Vehicle Manufacturing Company, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuku Buratai, in company of then Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the company, Major General Victor Izugu, and other Army officials embarked on a visit to the Kia Military Motors in South Korea from the 16th to 20th of January 2019 where discussions with stakeholders of the company were held on how to assist the Nigerian Army Vehicle Manufacturing Company achieve its objectives. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukuburatai, redeemed and inaugurated the Nigerian Army Vehicle Manufacturing Company, NAV MC, on the 26th of January 2019, under the command of Major General Victor Izugu with the aim of promoting the Nigerian Army's indigenization policy. The most outstanding achievement of the Nigerian Army Vehicle Manufacturing Company is the design of a light, medium and heavy categories of Nigerian Army combat vehicles. The prototypes of these vehicles will be unveiled today, while the production of two samples of the light Nigerian Army combat vehicle will commence afterwards. The Nigerian Army Vehicle Manufacturing Company is poised to meet the Nigerian Army requirements in armored fighting vehicles and also project their business capacity to other African countries in the nearest future. As the pioneer head of the NAV MC, Major General Victor Izuku realized that the project was ambitious, challenging, tough, and risky. But like the chief of army staff who had this vision of a modern army, he also knew that the project was achievable. This company is a very ambitious project in that the milestones the chief of army staff has set for us the mandate he has given us looks very very big it's equally risky but uh, i want to assure the chief of army staff that though this project is ambitious we are going to try our best to ensure that we succeed because i know it will change the game military operations within Nigeria and outside Nigeria. Located in Rigachuku, Kaduna State, the subsidiaries in Bauchi and Gogolada, the Nigerian Army Vehicle Manufacturing Company is saddled with the responsibilities of producing three variants of military automobiles. And these are the Nigerian Army Light Tactical Vehicle, the Nigerian Army Light Combat Vehicle, and the Nigerian Army Combat Medium Vehicles using 70% local content by leveraging on indigenous technology and human resources. Apart from production, the NAV MC also carries out repairs, servicing, and retroprofiting of combat and combat support vehicles. Um, like like um, the MD has rightly said, um, we will ensure that we, we maintain local content by building most of the, the components that we have the capacity to do at the moment with the, uh, in the country. 
designing and building combat vehicles for the Nigerian army locally to meet global acceptable standards is a daunting task that involves intensive research and testing of ballistic materials. On February 28, 2019, the company embarked on its first test of ballistic materials for its armored vehicles. As combat vehicles, the cars must be able to withstand a level of ballistic shots to protect its occupants while in combat. For this line of vehicles, the compositions of the ballistics materials has to be treated to resist bullet shots from within 30 meters range. For several hours, the team tested the different compositions of ballistic metal and glass for structural integrity. We've tested uh, 4 mm and uh, 6 up to 8 mm and uh, we've had some failures and it is expected because it is out of failures that success emerge. So we are going to go back to the drawing board. This is the no aspect of the answer. We are going to go back to our consultants and uh, all those who are working with us to say these treated metals we brought to us does not meet our standard. Our standard is 30 meters efficacy. If you test these metals at 100, 200 meters, they will give you results. But we are not taking 100, 200 meters results as an acceptable standard for the Nigerian Army. On the 14th of March 2019, the Nigerian Army Vehicle Manufacturing Company tested the 350 horsepower engine procured for the medium infantry vehicle. When we repair it here, before we issue it out, we make sure that it's, it's standard tests on everything, okay? We, we make sure that we go a long distance test and we do rupturing tests to ensure the serviceability and capability of it. A team from the Nigerian Society of Engineers, Kaduna State, was on assessment visit to the Nigerian Army Vehicle Manufacturing Company. The aim of the visit was to ascertain the quality of work that is being done by the company, to ensure it is in line with globally acceptable standards. During the tour of facilities, the team of engineers was led to the shooting range where ballistics materials for the NAC V were tested. The visit also coincided with the second test of the ballistics materials for the NAC V following the failure of the first. However, this time, the result was positive and the materials resisted the bullet rounds. The team was impressed and satisfied with what they saw. We, if I want to envisage to see here is beyond our expectation. And we know as engineers, uh, the main uh, aim of an engineer is to solve problems. We enjoy solving problems, even though we do very few problems, but we enjoy solving problems. And you can see the problems we are solving. Particularly as Nigerian sort of engineers, we are now uh, focusing on local content uh, pat patronage. These are point of impact of blank shot 7.62 ammunition on these metals. With only the scratch of infinitesimal security consequences on the metal. This is 8 millimeter metal. It means that we have gotten what we want. What we are going to do further is to now use lower metals like 4 millimeter and 2 millimeter to give it the same level of research and treatment we gave to this 8 millimeter to be able to resist small arms. This on its own can resist 12.7 anti-aircraft gun at 100 meters, 50 meters. What we are going to do later in the test is to see whether at a closer range of 50 meters of 12.62 millimeter anti-aircraft gun, whether it can have penetration. 
but I want to assure you that for enemy to come that close with that uh, caliber of weapon to this vehicle, it means that um, that enemy is on a suicide mission. The 2019 First Quarter Chief of Army Staff Conference on the Combat Arms Week in Jaji from 24th to 27th of April presented an opportunity for the young company to prove to the world that the Nigerian Army has capacity to produce its own military vehicles. During the firepower demonstration, the NAV MC successfully tested its combat vehicle within 30 meters range of effective firepower as well as its bulletproof jacket and mine roller with high degree of success. This was a triumphant proof that the research efforts of the company were yielding results. We have been able to come up with a vehicle that is plated with armored plating metal that will be able to resist point blank shot by the enemy and also a mine sweeper that will be able to resist up to 12 tons of mine. What we are going to watch today is just for us to show that the research effort is giving results. Delighted by the display, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukuburatai, expressed optimism that the Nigerian Army is making headway in the production of its own combat vehicles. As you've been promised by the Group Managing Director of the Nigerian Army Vehicle Manufacturing Company, that in the next three, four months, we should have our brand new vehicles originally produced by the Nigerian Army for Nigerian Army and indeed other services and the general public that they may find it uh, useful. For Kaduna State Governor Nasir Erufai, who was represented by his 10 deputy Bala Bantex, the Nigeria Army can attain self-sufficiency in the production of military hardware if it sustains the current tempo. With a sustained commitment in this effort as being exhibited by our current Chief of Army staff, we can look forward to self-sufficiency in meeting with our needs as against depending entirely on the importation of these military hardware. A delegation from the Pujo Automobile Nigeria Learning Center Kaduna paid a cuts of visit to the NAV MC. The visit was to see the level of facilities on ground as well as areas PAN can partner with the company. So far so good, it's a wonderful experience. Our discussions with uh, Major General Ezeobu and his team, we have seen determination in them you know, to move this country forward. On his part, Major General Victor Ezogu expressed optimism that partnering with a brand like PAN, which has been in the business of manufacturing automobile for over 40 years, would help the NAV MC to achieve its objectives. We were just trying to take advantage of the proximity of such a very large company that has uh, over the years built a name for itself and its branch. A lot has been done within a very short time and this shows commitment, drive by everybody that is on board. In May 2019, cadets of the Department of Engineering from Nigerian Defense Academy were also at the Nigerian Army Vehicle Manufacturing Company for a five-day industrial attachment in line with the regulations of the Nigerian University Commission. The attachment gave the cadets the opportunity to learn more about practical manufacturing operations and the other activities of company. We have been enlightened, informed, notified, steered up and challenged to support the, the, the innovation that they have started in order to improve the quality of the Nigerian Army and the entire Armed Forces together. This is going to be a revolution for 
the Nigerian army and Nigerian forces, and even Nigeria at large. This is part of our industrial attachment. We come here to see the, what this company is doing and uh, to have collaboration and synergy with them so that uh, not only uh, industrial attachment, other postgraduate students can also come here and do some research here. Within six months of its inauguration, the Nigeria Army Vehicle Manufacturing Company has been able to carry out repairs of a number of vehicles which hitherto are regarded as unserviceable and have been deployed to the combat front lines. These have enhanced the counterinsurgency operations, especially in the northeast of Nigeria. On 3rd of June 2019, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukuburatai, appointed the Group Managing Director of NAV MC, Major General Victor Ezeugu, as the Director General of Defense Industrial Cooperation of Nigeria, Daikon. He took over from Major General Bamidele Ogunkali in a brief ceremony at the Daikon headquarters, Kaduna. At the apex of the leadership in the country, Mr. President has shown very good leadership and uh, we need to follow suit. The service chief, the chief of defense staff, the chairman of board of uh, DICOM, all of them have shown impetus for good leadership and we just need to follow suit in that direction. To further boost the capacity of the Nigerian Army in vehicle manufacturing, the Chief of Army Staff approved the partnership between DICON and the NAV MC. The reorganization of the strategic engineering outfits in the Nigerian Army also led to the de-establishment of the Central Workshop, Kaduna, and establishment of Command Engineering Depot. This restructuring also witnessed the de-establishment of the NAV MC to what is now to be known and called Eagle Engineering Limited, with effect from 30th June 2019. There is a proposed memorandum of understanding between these organizations for the design, manufacturing and marketing of their products. The brand name of the vehicles to be produced under this partnership would be called Daikon Eagle. Lieutenant General Tukuburatai visited a command engineering depot to assess the level of work Several prototypes of vehicles were on ground and ready for a road test. Lieutenant General Tukuburatai boarded the newly manufactured light technical vehicle for a test run round a plant. So far, the Director General just took over uh, recently. Uh, less than two weeks and uh, we are seeing very high prospect that the Nigerian Defense Industrial Complex will be turned around for good very shortly. Also on ground was a newly designed demining vehicle. This is especially an important development in the war against terrorism in northeast Nigeria. Over the years, terrorists have resorted to planting landmines on routes used by the troops. Many soldiers and even civilians have been wounded and others lost their lives when their vehicles climbed over the landmines and exploded. Manually scanning and removing these mines can be slow and dangerous. The newly fabricated demining equipment will ensure that mines are safely detonated without harming the troops or slowing down the opposite of the terrorists. I know everybody is concerned about the insecurity, but unfortunately over the years, uh, since the uh, 60s, you know, um, we've not made any serious headway you know, in defense production, uh, local defense production. And I think if this one takes off, as we envisage, um, we'll no longer cry for any insecurity. 
all round the manufacturing plant, the tempo of work is increasing. The army chief says by the 6th of July, the first indigenous light tactical vehicle will be unveiled during the 2019 General Army Day celebration, not so in Lagos State. This will mark the beginning of greater days for the Nigeria Army's drive for indigenous manufacturing of defense equipment and contribution towards the development of Nigeria's military industrial complex. For the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukuburatai, whose vision has always been to have a professionally responsive Nigerian Army in the discharge of its responsibilities, the success of the Army Combat Vehicle and Equipment Manufacturing Project will mean a boost in the all-important task of securing the nation.